Okay, there seems to be absolutely no good information around installing. Uh, this is the Summit third function, but really any third function is going to be about the same. On a uh, L3301 or similar standard L series Kubota with a backhoe. So there's plenty of videos and instructions and all kinds of stuff for folks who don't have a backhoe pre-plumbed. But for those that do, um, I wanted to, to make a quick quick little how-to on this. I'm going to throw up a diagram I drew up here, and you feel free to pause and take a look because it details um, the proper way to route the hydraulics for, uh, for a third function if you've already got the backhoe installed. But I'll also run through it real quick here. So down here on your manifold, you're going to have something that looks very similar to this. There's three ports on the manifold. This is your pressure from your pump. So that is, if you think of electrical terms, like that's your positive voltage, that's where all the pressure is coming from, is this one here. This is your return to tank or your return to sump. And then oddly, this one, even though it's on this manifold, is actually an inlet. That is where power goes into, where pressure goes into uh, the power beyond, which is gonna be your, um, like a three-point lift, and then it eventually is plumbed back into tank as well. So if you get this from uh, from your dealer with a backhoe already on it, you're going to have this additional hose up here, and this one is going to go to the back because essentially what's going on from the factory is your pressure is heading up into your front-end loader valve. One of the front-end loader valve hoses is coming back here to tank. That's for relief and everything. And then the other front end loader valve um, hose is actually going to be this guy. And it goes all the way back. Goes all the way back to there. In my case, it's looped back into itself because I don't have my back hole on. Then it comes all the way back up under here and heads back into power beyond. So on a stock configuration with a back hoe, power comes out of here from the pump goes up to the front end loader valve, comes back down the front end loader valve on this. This is a hose inside a sheath. Goes back out to the backhoe, comes back from the backhoe on this and heads back into here, which then goes off to your three point, okay? That's how it's gonna come stock uh, if you've got a backhoe. Now, the way to put a third function kit in line here, right? All hydraulics are basically a big series circuit. So you just have to put that third function somewhere in the middle. Um, the sub instructions are okay, but not great. Um, effectively, on your third function valve, you're gonna have this back port here. It'll have a P on it. There'll be one labeled P for power and one T for tank, okay? So in P for power, and this is the reason it's done the way I'm gonna show you is based on the hose lengths that they send you, okay? So what we're gonna do is I had to take all these hoses off to make room for, um, for getting a wrench in there. But basically you're gonna take the hose, so this is your, your pressure, and this pressure normally goes up to the loader valve. You're gonna take that hose off. So this hose is gonna come off, okay? It doesn't have this angle on it. Mine was pointing up, all right? So you're gonna take this hose off. That disconnects at the front end loader up here it's the one on the tractor side so you can take that hose off completely okay then you're going to grab the new hose from summit which has got a little angle on it okay you're going to put it on your pressure fitting so this is from the pump and then this hose it doesn't look like it but this hose actually swings back up and goes to the p port on the front or on the uh, third function so we're coming from power on the pump, so pump pressure here, goes up into the P port on the third function valve, okay? Then you're gonna grab the other hose that comes with the Summit or the third function kit, and that's gonna go on the port labeled T, that's this one right here, and that is then gonna go and plug into what you just unplugged up here on the front end loader. So effectively, your hydraulic circuit is going to go now, this is after you've installed the third function, Hydraulic pump power comes out of here. It's gonna flow up into the 
into the power, the P port on the third function valve. It's an open center valve. So as long as you're not twiddling any of the switches, that pressure is gonna flow up into the valve body, flow right back out this hose. This hose is then gonna flow up into the front end loader valve, which will give pressure to all your front end loader bits and pieces. It's then gonna flow just like it did from the factory, back out this hose, your pressure, which is then gonna flow right back out here, out to your backhoe and right back through, okay? So if you've got a backhoe, this is where you are gonna tie in your third function. Your third function is gonna go in series before the front end loader, okay? If you do not have the backhoe, this is the one that you end up using, and there's a million videos on tying in if you don't have a, uh, a backhoe already. But because I have a backhoe, this one's actually gonna stay the same. This is the one we're tying into pressure. So we're tying into pressure from the manifold. Again, up to P, power on the third function. And then from the T for tank from the third function is going to go back up to the inlet on the front end loader valve. That's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. In terms of the rest of the plumbing, it's really, really easy. You're going to have your two big quick disconnects up top here. Those hoses, if you want to look specifically how I routed mine, I threaded them through these two hard points that I already had. Okay. And I just zip tied them there. Brought them all the way along. Zip tied them at this point. And then threaded them right there. I took the opportunity to put a piece of um, hose guard on that one that was already there. But there you are. Now there's your, your two quick disconnects up front for whatever implement you want to put on there. The wiring was really, really straightforward. You're just gonna run positive and negative to the battery. Um, when I did my stock, I did take the boot off um, to do the stock. And one of the things I did was, this is significantly longer than the stock ball. So I chopped probably an inch and a half off of the stock so that when this um, when this grip goes on here, you end up at the same uh, the same overall length because this is already on a standard L. This is already very very high. Then I ran the um, the signal wire, the little electric wire, right down the top here, and I just did a nice wrap um, and some UV electrical tape and ran it through the boot and zip tied it at the boot. Then this could look better, but um, a couple of zip ties up under here to keep the cables up and out of the way. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I did put a little bit of conformal coating, liquid electrical tape on the top of, top of that connection, just cause I didn't love having that connection facing upward. And then I've wrapped it in some, uh, some electrical tape and some grip tape. I also zip tied all of uh, my hoses. You get a lot of zip ties in the kit. So I zip tied some of the hoses together to keep everything bundled together. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, again, to make things easier, I did take all of the connections off because this um, this fitting for me was clocked at probably the two o'clock position because it had a straight hose on it. Um, but the hose that the Summit kit gives you has got a right angle crimped on it. So I just went ahead and when I took all these hoses off, I just put a wrench on there and I just clocked it down to probably four o'clock which then puts that at a nice angle so that the hose ends and goes upward. Um, up here, you do not have to take the loader off to get to, um, to, get to this piece here. Um, do take the quick disconnects off. It's four quick disconnects that come right off. Then there's plenty of room to get a wrench in there and it's, uh, it's much easier. Everything works great, no issues with flow. I was originally concerned about having the um, having the third function valve in front of the front end loader. Uh, that seemed a little a little strange to me, but I double checked it with both Summit uh, and two different Kubota dealerships. Locally explained what was going on, and they all confirmed that nope, it's an open center valve. So so long as you're not you know twiddling the uh, 
twiddling the valve, the tractor is effectively unaware that it's there and this is acting like nothing more than a big aluminum heat sink. So no issues at all with having this in front of the front end loader in series. Um, if it were up to me and I had access to a hydraulic hose crimper, I probably would have put it behind the front end loader in series, but it really is not a huge deal. Um, that is about it. Hopefully that helps somebody out.